Hey guys, welcome back to That LP Show. The name of the game is Sonic Colors for the Wii. We're finally here, ready to take on Game Land 7, Act 1, 2, and 3 for the 7th and final Chaos Emerald. We're finally almost done with this. And I've decided um, I'm kind of in a good mood, so I don't think I'm going to speed up the video and annoy everybody with crappy music like last time. I know I promised some Sonic related music, but uh, I don't know, I'm, I was looking at all the songs and all the songs that I liked, you know, would have actually slowed down the video because all the songs are longer than uh, what longer than the time it would actually take to finish these stages. And can I get that heart up there? I think I took a wrong turn, yeah, oh, it doesn't matter. Yeah, we want to hurry up there, we don't want to get crushed. And are these platforms gonna no those platforms aren't gonna go down and hurry up so well as long as I have no real things to talk about as far as strategy goes I think I'll mention that um, I recently picked up a Nintendo 3DS I figured you know now is as good a time as any since the price damn near dropped like a hundred dollars and, um, yeah, I, I picked up Ocarina of Time for 3D for it, and I gotta tell you, I mean, it, it, it's good, I mean, you know, no real complaints, it's just, the 3D really doesn't add a lot to it, in fact, it kind of hurts my head if it's, uh, turned all the way up, um, I'm comfortable with it about halfway up, I found myself playing uh, some of the virtual console games that I downloaded a lot more than I've been playing Ocarina of Time. I've been uh, playing a lot of uh, Link's Awakening over the past few days since I picked it up. You know. Alright, on deck two. But uh, I can't help but think that maybe I wasted my money a little bit. Because Ocarina of Time is really not enough to hook me with it. It's a great game, but uh, I I should have uh, trusted the Screw Attack review. It just it, it's something that's just meant for uh, a console on a TV. Um, I, yeah, I'm gonna get that heart. But uh, maybe it's a good investment anyway, because you know Super Mario Land three, uh, you know Super Mario 3D Land. That, it's not very easy to say. It's uh, getting ready to launch right around the corner here. We got the new Star Fox game. Well, Star Fox 64 3D, which, once again, a uh, 3D remake of a uh, Nintendo 64 game. A good Nintendo 64 game, but, you know, one that I've already played, one that I already own. So, I don't think that's really going to be worth my money. Uh, maybe Kid Icarus is going to be good. So, yeah, Kid Icarus, the new Mario game. Um, what else is launching for the 3DS? Um, I guess Sonic Generations, but I'm picking that one up for PS3. Um, yeah, I will be doing... Oh, shit, yeah, we gotta run away from this billiard ball. What a pain. And I think Egg Pond's come down as well. Yeah, I'll be picking up Sonic Generations for PS3, and I do plan on doing a Let's Play of it. Um, not, like, immediately after launch, because, you know, I want to kind of get the gist of the game. I want to see if, you know, it's, you know, prime for a Let's Play, or if it's just, you know, another straightforward action game with no, with, uh, no real secrets to unlock. I mean, this game's kind of straightforward. I mean, the biggest reason someone would want to watch a Let's Play is if they haven't played the game themselves and they just wanted to see through it. Um, if they're having, you know, I guess a problem getting past a certain part, but mostly, I guess it would be because uh, someone would want to find all of the red rings. And because, you know, you could explain in a written walkthrough how to do it all, but I found with this game, it's something that has to kind of be... Uh, Scene in order to understand exactly how to do it because there's certain maneuvers that are just really tricky and hard to pull off All right, come on hurry up slow ass elevator Come on you can shrink now any day 
Uh, speaking of Sonic Generations, I recently watched that uh, new trailer that they showed at Gamescom. And uh, I don't know if anybody noticed at the very end of it, but they showed like uh, Tails flying by and they showed a classic version of Tails, which makes me wonder if this game's going to, you know have them as playable characters or if they're just going to be part of the story. They showed that classic looking Eggman robot which, you know, kind of confirmed some of my suspicions that um, Eggman is also going to be teaming up with his classic counterpart uh, in order to cause some trouble. You know, I know they said a mysterious force um, sent Sonic back in time, but I, I just have this funny feeling it's, it's Eggman. At least, you know, part of me hopes it's Eggman because with this game, they kind of got on that right track of having Eggman being the main villain instead of some, you know, ancient god, you know, or some kind of mystery final boss that just pops up at the end, kind of like how they did with classic Final Fantasy games. Come on, get past these... Oh, you're just gonna waste my time with these blocks that you just want to kind of suck yourself towards, huh? Uh, what do we got there? Is there something up here? And okay, never mind. I thought there was something interesting. Um, where am I going here? Yeah, maybe I should have sped it up and added music. Yeah. Um, try right, another rocket. And I could really use a drill right now. I guess this will help me kind of get out of here before I drown. Yeah, I'm really looking forward to Sonic Generations, but I couldn't imagine that it's, you know, going to be superior on the 3DS. Oh. Well, that was disappointing. Oh, I guess I do have to kill these guys. If I, yeah, I want to make the zip lines come down. Boom. Alright, nope. Oh, no, that was gonna happen. Don't hit me. Ugh. I just realized that these two Sonic robots have separate ring counters. I thought they shared it. Okay, well, I'm not gonna worry about that right now. Alright, let's try that again. See, my jump didn't work right the first time. Maybe my uh, batteries in my Wii Remote are taking a crap. Oh, my Wii Remote itself isn't taking a crap. Eh. It's uh, one of those Wii Motion Plus controllers with the, uh, with the Motion Plus technology built in. I bought it uh, pretty much for the sole purpose of being able to play Skyward Sword when it comes out. Now there's a... Oh, come on, come on. Hurry up, hurry up, hurry up, hurry up. Arr, where's the whisk when you need it? There we go. Oh, and there's also some bubbles. Yeah, I'll definitely be wanting to do a Let's Play of uh, Skyward Sword when it comes out. Um, it'll probably be a blind Let's Play. I, I haven't really decided. I haven't really decided yet. I'll probably think of something uh, to play for a Let's Play before I'm uh, finished with my first run through of uh, Skyward Sword, um, which will be launching November 20th here in uh, North America. The Europeans are getting it about, I think, two days before us. Kind of like what they did with this game. I know that they got this game before us. And there is the seventh and final Chaos Emerald. And you know what that means? I'll show you what that means. I'm just going to... Yeah, right there you can see the satellite glowing. That's the option satellite. I haven't shown that off yet. Um... Yeah, see that lock down there? It unlocks Super Sonic. And what Super Sonic does is it pretty much acts just like uh, one of the Wisp abilities. Um, let's see, I, I guess... Uh, what's, what's a good stage for me to show it on? Yeah, you got uh, Sonic right there on the... Uh... That's a good one. I think I'll do Act 5. Why not? I'll do Act 5. What was I talking about? Oh yeah, he kind of acts like uh, the Wisps. You just, uh, yeah, as you can see, you have the Wisp capsules here, but they don't work. Supersonic overrides them, which is why you have the ability to turn it on and off. 
So what we got to do is just in classic Sonic fashion, collect 50 rings, and then we can activate it just like we do a Wisp. Um, for the for uh, the sections in which um, Wisp abilities are usually required, like right here where you'd need the laser wisp to bounce off the wall and get to that crystal, they do minor adjustments to the stages to compensate for using supersonic. Like this spring being here, which wasn't here before. And, wow, they're, we're really not collecting a lot of rings here. Where are all the rings? Okay, maybe this wasn't the best choice of stage. Well, there's a 22. Alright, let's grab some more right there. Wow, we're uh, really not getting a lot of rings here, are we? Well, we guess we get another run through of Act 5 of Tropical Resort. Like you guys haven't seen it before. Oh, there's some more rings. Hey, are there more back here? No? Alright. This boost there. Okay. I'm not going to be able to get those rings. Just want to make sure that I don't get hit now. And, oh, oh, come on. Back up. Let's try this again. Uh, oh. oh, okay, um... Yeah, it looks like I'm not getting up there. How frustrating. Oh, there's gotta be a place with more rings. Really? You... You're freaking kidding me, game. Alright, let's, uh... Try for these. Oh, okay, um... Wow, this is pathetic. Um, I'll try to show a different stage to show off Supersonic, but... There he is. He's faster, he's invincible, he has an infinite uh, amount of boost, and I'm going to uh, cut to a, uh, yeah, I'm, I'm going to cut to a part where I can uh, get him in an easier stage. Alright, we're back uh, about halfway through uh, Starlight Carnival Act 1. It was actually a lot easier to get uh, 50 rings. <laughs> um, so, here we go. Back to supersonic form. And as you can see, I'm just boosting the whole way through. He, like I said before, he's invincible and has infinite boost energy. You do have to keep collecting rings in order to stay in your super form. There we go. That's supersonic. Um, not really much of an advantage to using him, especially since you can only get him so late in the game, but, you know, it's still cool. Supersonic's back, and he's capable of being played with in actual stages. He's in just reserve for some, you know, over-the-top epic battle. I mean, not that those are bad, but I did miss just blasting through sit stages as Supersonic. So, well... That's it, I guess, uh, we're almost towards the end of the stage here, are we? Let me see. Yeah, I thought I'd have time to, uh, show off the boss of Asteroid Coaster, but, uh... Yeah, it looks like I'm just gonna... Yeah, well, I showed off Supersonic, that's all there really is to it. So I'm just gonna meet you over at the boss of Asteroid Coaster. Here he is, the boss of the Asteroid Coaster, Scullion. He's another frigate-type boss enemy, um, a lot like Orkin in uh, Tropical Resort. Uh, pretty much the same deal. Uh, the goal here is to just break apart his pieces. 
and try to keep a high ring count. That'll definitely help you getting in getting an S rank if you're looking for that. Um, also, another thing that helps is grabbing that orange wisp. And here's why. But we do want to avoid these rocks coming out. There we go. Get under them and use your rocket wisp and that should hit him for about half his health. Now would be a good time to do some quick steps just to get in a few points. But, you know, on these bosses, the ring count is what really matters. Uh, let's see if we can... Nope. All right. I was trying to uh, hit a more vital part of them. There we go. I'll go for the gun. I, I don't want to hit him directly in the eye because that'll hit for direct damage and that'll kill him faster. Which normally would be good, but I still want a little time to break off some parts, rack up some points, and, uh, well, this probably isn't going to help, and get more rings, I was going to say, but this is probably very well going to kill him. So, alright, quick steps, just as many as we can. Maybe uh, gathering up all these rings will help. Alright, well, that's it. Pretty much the uh, final regular boss of the game. And yeah, I only got an A rank. Well, maybe this extra life will help. But that's all the time I have for today. Next time, we'll be taking on Dr. Eggman on the finale of Sonic Colors on that LP show. Have a one that is good.